Hey guys, Kale here. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a video in Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12.0. If you're not familiar with the program, be sure to check out my last video where I give a quick tour of the program. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is add the title for our video. To do that, we're going to click on Media Generators and then Titles and Text. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Action Flip, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it down to the timeline. Now the video media generator will open, and here we can edit the title. So right now it says action flip, I'm just going to backspace that, and I'm going to call it demo video. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to center it. Over here we can change the font size, but I'm not going to bother. And then over here we can change the font. I'm going to change it to Sitka text, and I'm going to change the color as well, so I'm going to click on this bar here. And I'm going to drag this up and move this over. Now I'm going to click on save and I'm going to save it as demo video. Next I'm going to change the duration of the text slide and I'm going to change it to 05. So as you can see it slows it down quite a bit. I'm going to split the slide right here and then I'm going to delete this section right here and X out of this. I'm not actually going to be using the video overlay track here, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now all we have is text, video, voice, and sound effects. Now I'm going to add some background music to the title. I'm going to click on Project Media and Import Media. I've split a small section out of the music, and I'm going to drag the bigger half all the way over here. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to add the videos I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can click on the first video, press the shift button, and then click on the last one, highlighting all of them. And then I'll bring all three videos into the program at the same time. Or we can do one at a time. Now if you select all three videos at the same time, What's actually going to happen is when you drag one of the videos into the timeline in the program, it will actually drag all three videos at once. Generally when I edit my videos, I like to select one at a time, so then I can edit one video at a time, and then if I want to add another one, I'll add that one in later. Alright, I'm going to start with this video here, so I'm going to drag it to the timeline. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a few short videos of my crazy dog. Alright, I'm going to cut out that first part there. So I'm going to go split and delete. Or I can click on cut as well. I'm going to cut out that part as well. Now I'm going to split it right here, and I'm going to delete the last part of the video. Now I'm going to add this video here to the timeline. I have no idea what that sound in the first of the video is, to be completely honest, so I'm just going to cut that out.
I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to add the last video in here. I'm going to split it here. And I'm going to split it here as well and cut this part out. And then I'm going to drag these together. So I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm going to drag this over and this one. And I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to add music to the end of the video. Now instead of adding another song to the program, I'm actually just going to drag this over here. This is the song that I split earlier. And I'm going to add a credit roll to the video. So I'm going to click on media generators. And I'm going to go to credit roll. Usually I use this one here. Usually when I edit my videos, I will change the duration of the credit roll to 05 or 06, just to speed it up a bit. I'm not going to bother changing the duration. Alright, so I'm going to split it here, and I'm going to delete this part. Now I'm going to split the music, and I'm going to delete this part here. Now save, and I'm going to X out of the video media generator. Next I'm going to go to Project, and I'm going to click on Make Movie. Now once you click on this, as you can see there's a few different options. We have upload it to YouTube, share it online, burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc, save it to my camera or portable device, and save it to my hard drive. Usually I'll save it to my hard drive and then upload to YouTube from there. Here you can change the output file name and where it's going to save to. And down here we're going to select the output format. Right now it's on internet 1280 x 720 30p, and that's what I usually use. So I'm just going to click on Render. And as you can see, it starts to save the video to my hard drive. And here it is here. As you can see, there's two different ones. Now this one here is the project you were working on in Movie Studio Platinum 12.0. And this one here is the finished video. I'm just going to show you guys the finished product here. Gonna fast forward it a bit. So that's how you edit a video in Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.